Draymond Green's a confident player, super talented. Uh, I was talking with a couple of NBA buddies of mine. They're like, look, Warriors are still the best team. Um, you want to make Draymond score. You want to make him shoot threes, and he wants to prove you wrong, even though that's probably the worst part of his game. Uh, but he's so versatile defensively. And then if you haven't seen Jordan Bell, who they added from Oregon in the draft, who he can't score. Jordan Bell had one of the great quotes of uh, the NBA season so far. Did you guys see it? I think Bleach Report had it. Uh, they asked him, you know, what he does. He's like, look, I just I run hard every time, and I pass it to the two light-skinned guys and the skinny guy, right? Like, simplify <laughs> your game. But he's in incredible, like a freak athlete, six foot eight, can block shots, can guard point guards. And so what, what they've done kind of smartly is they have these versatile defenders because of the lack of positions, really, in the NBA now. you got to be able to guard multiple guys, play multiple positions in, in basketball. Um, but there are a lot of thoughts coming out of the two-minute report, which we read yesterday and shared with you yesterday from the Christmas Day game where the Warriors beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Remember, Draymond's team won the game, but in the two-minute report, uh, the NBA found that three times LeBron was fouled, one time Kevin Durant was fouled, and they weren't called in the last two minutes. should be pointed out that one play LeBron was reportedly fouled on twice, so it wouldn't have been three different times that he would have gone to the free throw line. There's just one additional time. First, there is NBA games are more weighted based upon the fourth quarter, right? Turn on any NBA game, and though the product is better this year, I, I've, I've pointed this out on Colin's couch before, and I'll point it out to you now. The product this year is the best that I've seen since the Jordan era, and probably night in, night out, even better. Why? They spaced out the games. Like, just the human body, you can't play back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back games and travel all over. Like, you just can't do it. And by, by smartly scheduling and giving it another week and giving guys, it's giving teams a chance to practice, chance to be rested, it's just better because of it. Absolutely better because of it. Um, but even those games, you get to the fourth quarter. You turn on, you have NBA League Pass. Fourth quarter, game's almost always tied. Both teams start to play harder, and the game is weighted Fourth quarter more important than the rest of them. He's not wrong. A, a call in the third quarter, putting a guy on the bench, making a guy play passively, that can change a game, can change the course of history. But the last two minutes is the most important. But he, here's where Draymond and anybody who's anti-two-minute report is kidding themselves. You think that the NBA shouldn't be doing this. This is all in response to the Tim Donaghy deal, right? Tim Donaghy said that the NBA was positioning officials in a way in which certain teams would be successful, wouldn't be successful. There's a cloak and dagger to why calls were made. And all the NBA is doing is what I believe a Supreme Court justice said once, and I know that uh, former President Obama has said many times. Uh, the expression is, sunlight is the greatest disinfectant, right? That if we don't give you the two-minute report, we don't know what you got wrong and what you got right. And the NBA is not saying, hey, we're perfect. They're saying we're imperfect. We're going to try and get better. And here's where we got it wrong. Okay, sorry, we'll try and do better next time. And we'll handle our officials. And, we'll, and, and look, at the NBA, they grade the officials from the start of the game to the end of the game. And the guys that grade out the best get paid the most and get the most playoff and finals games. So it's not there to not being graded, but all they're trying to do is give you a snapshot of sunlight to disinfect any thoughts that the NBA wants the Warriors to win. Much like the NFL, I mean, if, if the NFL wants to make a bunch of money, wants to make a bunch of money, all they need to do is have a camera in that room where Al Riveron is, right? Like Al Riveron, who you did not, you would not possibly know who this, I don't even know what he looks like, nobody looks what he looks like, but he's become famous because he's the guy making the call, the, the, yay or nay, on touchdown, on catch, on no catch, inbounds, out of bounds. Like, all the NFL has to do is put a camera in that room, sponsor the room, put it on Red Zone or whatever channel you want, and you're going to watch it. Why? Because it's fascinating, because it's real, and it's also sunlight, which disinfects any thought that the NFL wants the Patriots to beat the Steelers or wanted the Patriots to beat the Bills last week. The NBA knows what they're doing. They're doing the right thing, even if it sells out officials and even uh, if it overweights calls made in the last two minutes as opposed to at any other point in time previously in the game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1. First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.